Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, I'm Sal. We're doing your weekly, ah uh, no, monthly love reading, single and dating. Now, who's single and dating? If you're not in an exclusive relationship, you are single. You're just talking to people. That's how I see it. So this is how this energy, uh, the energy base for this uh, reading. Also, before we start, this reading is transformative. If you like rainbows and butterflies, you can always go to my other readings. This one is about more on the sense of that, you know, whatever that needs to be, um, you know, my other readings also shed light on something that is always, you know, like in, in, in the hiding or the dark. But this one is majority of it would be illumination of what you need to work on so that you can move towards love. Because the reason some people are single because they have blockages. People who go to me has blockages. So this would address it. Maybe it would help. Okay. So before we start, I'm letting you know it might not be to your liking. Just saying. I'm not scaring you. This is all for all the cards, for all the zodiacs, okay? So, if you're still there, welcome to your transformative reading. <laughs> Messing with you guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. For Virgo. Let's see, what is crowning energy for the month of April for Virgo? Hmm. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Okay. You're doing a lot of things, Virgo. From what I'm sensing, can be metaphysical. Can be feeling someone from a psychic. Asking psychic questions. Asking your intuition. Listening to your dreams. Or listening to your higher self. A lot of... Uh, you're manifesting something, Virgo. I mean, I'm not sure how Virgos are connected with divine because I know you guys are as far as like, um, you know, like you guys are very in tune with the earth. But this is showing you hold tremendous power, tremendous control, tremendous light and answer towards your goal for, for April. So you have something in you, a gift. Okay, five of wands. April will start very rough out of control and you don't know where to go nine of pentacles can be related to work and we know when work becomes shattered at virgo you're talking about the whole world in a crisis king of pentacles over here is showing yes it is about your money that you're going to have been trouble single okay it's not about losing a job it's more about a desire Nine of Pentacles I see here is about a desire to build something so great and something that you want. And it's not even showing relationship right away here. Wands is about, for me, it's just an out of control energy. Pentacles and then Pentacles again. You do know that money is, you know, what they say is at the root of evil. If you don't look at it as an energy, if you know how to use it as an energy, it's not the root of an evil. But the money here, I'm sensing, this is a this is some troubling times with money. Not because you don't have it, but it's an obsession, obsession to manifest something about it. Three of Swords here. Vibration is a lot of things from the past are coming for you. Okay? It's not about a heartbreak. It's about listening to the past. There are things that you didn't listen to and you have to listen to it. It's not because you were hurt. It's about accepting what the situation. Five of Swords. Look at this. Five under the five. Okay. Five of Swords. You're going to be running away. It's like you're almost saying, it's like, okay, I'm going to run away from this situation if I'm meeting someone. Because you're running away going to work. That's how I see it here. Your focus is really about work. Nine of Wands. Again. A lot of work being at work under the nine of pentacles not lying you have you have a gift here but you're not using it for your love you're using it to manifest money or abundance I mean it's good I mean if I have that magic I mean that that energy I'll use that too <laughs> the hangman over here under the king of pentacles you're waiting for something to progress again with money even though I want this to be a love reading, uh, from, okay, there you go. Okay, next you have con you're you're being either you're uh, connecting with a Gemini, 
lovers underneath. But I have feeling this is an X air sign that now you got hurt or you have understand that they have hurt you. It's not in the first year, in the future. This is an energy that you carry towards April. Maybe it happened last year, four months before. Here we go. The transformation starts. Ten of Swords. Ending of whatever you're running for or the thing that you have been so scared of. The Strength card. Look at that. Controlling the beast, taming the beast. But look at this image here. This person's, uh, this energy here, the, her heart, or his, her heart, can control any kind of, you know, vibration, low, le lesser vibration over there. That's how strong you are. Remember I told you you have a gift? So if you feel that you're so focused on something, you can detach yourself from that. You can. Knave of Wands and the Hermit. You're going to take some time out and you're going to go out, explore, and then you're going to find yourself. See, it is transforming, right? It's not, I mean, it is a love reading, but it's more of like receiving answers like on how you can move on, Virgo, okay? Now, people that you're dealing with, I don't see here much. You have to run away from whoever that air sign is or an earth sign, okay? You have your future here, can be a fire sign, yes. Can be a Leo too. All right, so Virgo, that is your single and dating. Love reading for April. I will see you again and link down below if you guys want to get in touch with me. Bye.